Hey guys, today I'm going to try to make a transmission cross member for that 6R80 using, oh my god, there we go, using all these parts and that strip there. So, I'm going to figure out how to span a uh, 26 inch spread and then capture that tranny in the tranny mount. Here's the tranny mount. It's still kind of hot, just got done welding on it. So this is going to go on there, some 3 8 tapped holes. These other two hole, three holes, bolt to the back of the tranny. So the idea is this will be on here. Saw another YouTuber do the same exact thing. And then the idea is the tranny mount come across the come across the bottom here and, and span to the to the side of the subframes. Made some progress. Put the transmission mount together. Uh, that angle piece here. Angle piece here, bolts to the transmission on this front plate, and then the standard C4, P5, AOD, 470W transmission mount. It's another plate. So now I need to go from here over to those guys there and here. I'm thinking what's going to happen is 45 degree angle, some of that tube over figure out what i gotta do maybe they'll meet together in the center here uh and then back across and we get welded somehow and then what i'll probably do is once it's there i'll bring it across and anchor it further forward here because there's a lot of leverage happening on that distance and really don't want that so i'm gonna try to bring it across and uh try to see if i can support it something we'll see all right, here it is. Uh, everything kind of tacked together. Tacked a couple spots. It's mainly done from underneath. There, over there, and up on the sides, on the sides there and there. So we'll go ahead and weld it together real quick. Uh, fill that gap with some material, and then I'm gonna work on the pieces that are gonna go from roughly here over to the other side of the frame on either side. So we'll see what happens. Well, my ground clearance looks like about four inches, five inches. I'll take that hump off, come up another inch and a half. But tranny mounts just as low as the pan. Oh well. All right guys, so here it is. 6R80 tranny mount for Ford Falcon. So, that guy and that guy over there are the original mounts to the frame that I served out for the previous transmissions I ran in this car. So, added this guy and that guy to kind of help offset this long old like lever I've created because the tranny mount is so far to the rear. Um, I just kind of want a little extra support just to keep it from bowing. In case I ever jump the car by accident, you know how that goes. So give me a couple minutes, throw it in the car, take a quick video of that. Alright, it's in. So bolted on the side, plus the other front that you can't really see. There it is. Comes across. There's this little X looking thing. Bolted on the front. I just have the bolts thrown through the deal there. I'll put the nuts on later. We gotta go to a New Year's party here shortly. There it is, it's in all by itself and it's low so next will be uh dropping that pan smashing that sump flat modifying the filter and then put it back up and then probably drop the car back on the ground see where we're at but yeah transmission is all the way to the top that's it so it's going to be interesting how this drive shaft's going to fit down this tunnel looks like it'll, it'll fit and everything will be really nice and tight like it normally was before so there we go uh, 6r80 64 ford falcon